Hi there. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to connect your PHP code to Postgres database with PDO and run insert query. I have started my Apache server. Also, I have started Postgres service. Okay. On Windows, you have to go to manually enable the trigger for Postgres SQL service that runs in background okay next thing um, create one sample php file and then inside this we're going to have try and catch block within which we are going to execute our program so that being said let's create exception first Okay, so I'm going to use PDO exception E. Okay, and here I'm just going to echo and then use E get message. Okay, now for try block, what we're going to do is we are going to simply create first database connection. Okay. So here, let me go ahead with video method, which is basically instantiating a class within which I'm going to use PG SQL. Okay. And then point my host here. Let's say local host, then semicolon. Make sure this is semicolon and not comma. Okay. The DB name. Here I have test bb as my name, okay, database name. The next thing is to have a comma and username as postgres, then password demo 1234, okay. Once you do that, next thing is we are going to create our SQL query. So I'm going to use SQL underscore query one. And here I'm going to insert. Okay, so insert into company as my database table. And here I have field ID name and age. And values that I'm going to add are simply seventh entry. Then let's say I want to add Amelia as the name age let's say 29 okay then semicolon and now we are ready to execute our query so point to query function that's going to take your sql query one okay and you are ready to go. Now we have to view this data as well. For that, what we are gonna do is we are gonna use for each loop and inside which I'm gonna use one more query. For that, let's use our query and SQL query, or you can simply use SQL as well. And let's say select star, okay, from company table. Okay, and within for each loop, what we're gonna do is my video. Okay, and then point to query, sorry, query, and then SQL. And here we have to mention that these are rows. Okay, so let's go with our row. First row is going to be, okay, let's start with break, okay, then print row and then id, okay, right, then next thing, row, the name, then 
right okay right okay once you do that uh, you are ready to execute it will print your id name okay and also you can add one more if you want you just have to repeat this okay let me do this again okay here what we're gonna do is add h okay that's it we are pretty much done make sure there are no minor errors because that will cause some exception and we will have to go through all this again okay once you are done with the code open your browser and here type in localhost slash sample.php and as you can see it added the entry using insert query okay now if you want to run the code again then you may have to um, add new value because otherwise it will throw an exception so this is an example for inserting data into your postgres database table using php